hi everyone welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a website wireframe on canva now guys a website wireframe is a visual guide that represents the skeletal framework of a website now exactly how the website looks is what we call a wireframe now so how do you create that skeletal framework is what I'll be showing you you just want to stick to the end of this video now the best way to draw inspiration on canva will be using templates now for this I'm going to be using a template and to do that I'll go to the top of the screen and click on the search bar and then guys I'm going to be searching for website now over here these are a few of the templates you want to scroll down and check for what you would like what you would like to recreate now if you're on the free plan you might want to stay away from the templates that you see the crown symbol on because that is for the upgraded version so just go through it and decide on the website that you would like to use now this is the template I chose so it's time for you to make it yours it's time for you to recreate change up what you wouldn't like on your website add a few things and your website wireframe should be ready so the first thing i would like to do is to change up this picture i highlighted the photo and then i clicked on delete so i'm going to be going over to my uploads and then guys from there i'll be choosing any of the pictures that i already uploaded on canva that will suit my background so this is it so guys this is me trying to expand the picture and then i decided i'm like oh i don't like the background color and then i just quickly changed it by highlighting on the picture and then i clicked on the three dots and then guys i went down to where you see replace background and as you can see here guys the picture has totally taken over the background and this is exactly what i wanted so over here i was trying to create my transparent overlay if you want to see how this is done i have a detailed video on it on my youtube channel you can go there and check it out you can see how the text because of the transparent overlay now i would like to change the write-up and for this i highlighted what they wrote and then guys i deleted and started typing in what i would like now this is me trying to change the font i didn't really like this font and plus it's not bold enough so i went ahead to search for a font that is bold and when i changed it i automatically fell in love with it now guys let's move over to the second page remember you want to keep editing all the pages until they suit you until they are a representation of your brand because the template you are using is somebody else's idea so for you to make it yours you have to edit you have to remove you have to add now the aim of this is to personalize this website as much as you can for you to speak your brand for you to talk about your brand so in this case i'm going to be trying to do the second slide again and this is just deleting the image and adding up an image that talks about my own brand now, as you can see i'm trying to expand this to suit my slide and when i'm done and i'm satisfied i'm just going to position it where it's supposed to be now you can also go ahead and edit the right of there for it to be all about your brand so guys on your website on places like book a table you need some sort of like a landing page or where people can actually book a table and if you scroll down to you're also going to see see menu you also need somewhere where people can also see the menu now for this you can actually add a link now to add a link all you need to do is to left click and then go over to where you see link and tap on link now you want to impute a link that will always redirect people where they can get the menu for your business don't forget that you can always delete a page that you don't like all you need to do is to highlight the page and then by the side of this page there's a delete icon you want to tap on it and then that page is deleted so the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and publish your website and to publish your website you want to go to the top right hand corner of your screen there's already an option provided to you by canva to publish your website and guys this is how you can make a website wireframe on canva now i really hope you learned something from this video now if you found this video helpful you want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this now see you next time in my next video
拜。